<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. I hope everybody had an awesome week and actually an awesome couple of weeks. It's so weird um, when I skip a Friday and then I come back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like my table is full. I have so much to tell you guys and show you guys. I'm so excited for today. So welcome, welcome. Hey, Bernice, how are you doing? I'm so glad you could join us. So if you've never joined me, excuse me, joined me, hi Kay, uh, for Facebook Live on Friday. I typically go live every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. There's an occasional one where I can't do it, but I try to keep those to a very minimum. So hey Nikki, hey Nancy, hey Sharon, yay, I'm so glad everybody's popping on. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I said, typically go live every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time right here on our Facebook group. Um, Let's see, we usually make two projects using what I call our product of the week. So all week long on our Facebook group, we've been featuring this week, it was the Peaceful Moments stamp set was our product of the week. It's an awesome stamp set with tons of great sentiments in it, right? We can always use, you know, it's uh, the images are always fun, but the sentiments, we really need those too, right? So yeah, so anyway, we've been featuring that all week long. So a little bit later on, we will be making a couple of projects with our product of the week, the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And in addition to that, again, if you're new and don't know about these things, and actually I've changed things up a little bit because I had um, some people kind of asking me about doing like a make and take packet um, rather than the actual finished cards. So new this week, we're gonna try this out and see how this goes. You guys give me your feedback, let me know what you think. But when we do the projects uh, later on in the video, um, you always get those for free with an online order of at least $30. But starting now, we're gonna do packets of make and take. So it's gonna be all the parts and pieces, and then you assemble the cards. The one thing is you will need the Peaceful Moment stamp set because I cannot do your stamping for you. That's a like a kit kind of policy with Stampin' Up. We cannot do stamping. So you need the stamp set and you need ink and then obviously you need adhesive to put the cards together, okay? And if you don't have the Peaceful Moment stamp set, you can order it or you can use another stamp set that you already have. Same thing with the ink too. So don't stress out about that. Um, I will give you item codes for everything that we're using on the projects over at gatheringinspiration.com, ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, um, over on my blog. I'll do that later on this afternoon after we're done with the Facebook Live. I have to get everything kind of uploaded and posted on there, so give me a little bit of time but that'll be there this afternoon. So measurements, item codes, everything that you need um, for those projects that we make. But we're gonna do that in a little bit. In the meantime, I already have to look at my notes because I, like I said, I have so many fun things to tell you guys about, but I think that kind of covers first of all. So yeah, while well, people are hopping on, Philomena, yay, you can join us. Oh my gosh. So I'm so sorry, Philomena. We played um, online bingo last night and I think it was weather related, right, Philomena? Um, it was really windy where you are out in New York and she wasn't able to get on. We, we play it on Facebook and that was the first time we've ever had that kind of a glitch happen. It was windy here too so we kind of had some times where like it got a low connection and maybe it blanked out for a sec we just kind of played a little bit slower I went back over and reviewed everything I did play Philomena's boards for her and unfortunately she did not win so I was bummed I would have loved to be able to say uh, yes horrible win she's saying um, but I, I would have loved to be able to say Philomena I played your boards and you won so anyway hopefully next time though so and hey Sally how are you doing so let's see um, okay yeah I'm already like jumping off off topic I feel like um, yeah okay we're good so yeah I've got my Elma basketball shirt on we've got another big like tough game tonight um, hoping and praying because we actually the last two games last Friday when I was in Chicago um, for Lily's dance competition which was awesome I wasn't able to um, go to the basketball game and I had to listen to it on I put my little earbuds in um, <clears throat> And they did not win. They they lost. They'd actually beat this team earlier in the season. And then, um, yeah, they just, they couldn't quite pull it off. And then actually last week on Tuesday, they had a loss too. So two losses in a row. So it feels really weird because they've been playing really well and, and doing really well. So hopeful like tonight we can break the losing streak. Um, so yeah. And like I said, Chicago was fun. Although we were in the suburbs, like it was like being in a suburb of any city really. Like as we were driving back home, I'm like, oh, there's the 
the city like way over there. So anyway, we could have gone in on Sunday, but you know, by that time you're kind of tired and ready to come home too. So anyway, but it was fun. We had a fun road trip. Um, got to hang out with lots of dance moms and girls and just had a good fun girl weekend too. So, um, okay, let's jump in. We're going to do our first drawing for, oh, Philomena saying yes next time. Hey, Rosemary, how are you doing? Um, we are going to do our first drawing for... I think it's almost easier on the back side. I don't know. The peaceful poppy sequins. We are gonna give these. I keep I kept calling them maybe painted poppies, but it's peaceful poppies sequins. Okay. So as always, your name goes in the drawing here if you share this Facebook Live video anytime between now and next Thursday night or if you're new to me and sign up for my email list over on Constant Contact, there is um, a link to on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. Why do I always feel like I have to say that? I guess because I don't know, I do. Anyway, so go to my blog, there's a link right there to sign up for my email list and your name will go in this drawing here as well. So as many times as you share, so if you share 10 times, your name is in the drawing 10 times. So I love that. And if you're on other crafting groups, I love, love, love for you to share on those other crafting groups too, because that's a great way as being a small business owner. It's tough out there, right, ladies? We all know that, small businesses. Um, you know, you got to work hard for your marketing and every little every little bit helps. So thank you, ladies. And Darlene, hello. Okay, shaking these all around. One lucky winner. And okay, I have one piece of paper in my hand. Oh, it's always my fear I'm going to have more than one. Okay, yes, just one. We have Miss Linda Dennis. <laughs> Congratulations, Linda. It's funny because she played bingo last night too. So I'll be sending this out. I'm pretty sure now I'm like, I think, did Linda? Yeah, Linda won. So I'm going to, I'll send this out with your bingo winnings too, Miss Linda. So congratulations. I'm going to put that right over there with the bingo stuff too. So awesome. Congratulations, Linda. And thank you for sharing the video, everyone that shared. Okay, I got to dump these out because we have more drawings to do. Well, Okay, make sure they're all out. There's always, there's a dimensional backing in there. Of course there is, because those are everywhere, right? So this week, if you share, <laughs> that's cute, and all you lovely people. I know, it's only lovely people on here for sure, Dar or uh, Darlene. <laughs> you guys are cute. All the congratulations, always so sweet and sincere. Okay, so this week, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, you are going to get your name in the drawing. Rosa, hello, how are you? <laughs> to win, this is the Stone 3D Embossing Folder. So this is part of the celebration offerings, and I had an extra one, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it away. So the Stone 3D Embossing Folder, it's very, very cool. It kind of makes um, like a stone effect on your paper. So this is what we will draw for next Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time um, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, okay? So we'll do that next week. And what else? Oh, I have to do a quick shout out. Uh, Miss Charlene Mogg from my Inspired Stampers group from my downline just reached Bronze Elite. She promoted to Bronze Elite earlier this month, which means, so how did she get to what's called Bronze Elite? Well, she bought the starter kit and then she had sales growing, growing, growing sales. She got to $1,800 in what they call rolling 12 month sales. So now she gets 25% off of all of her orders. Plus she did it really quickly, so she um, earned what's called Quick Start, which is basically a bunch of flex points that Stampin' Up! gives you to redeem for free product or maybe to go to um, an on-stage event or um, eventually if you get enough points, you can earn the incentive trip too. So flex points are awesome. And that, that Quick Start program is kind of a, a jump start, you know, to get you started as quickly as possible. And then they give you lots of points as a reward for that. So it's very cool. So she's doing an awesome job. So congratulations, Miss Charlene. Anyone that's interested in the starter kit, again, when you reach $1,800 in sales, instead of getting 20% off of your orders, you get 25% off of your orders. Plus I give you a free, like shopping spree, a $50 value shopping spree, whatever you want. You just send me your email, let me know what you want, and I get it to you. So, all right, let's see. Oh, Nancy is making a card right now with the stone embossing folder. We would love to see that card, Miss Nancy, because um, I have not done too much with it yet, honestly. There are always just so many products to play with and only so little time, right? I know we all feel that way. So yes, congratulations to Miss Charlene. 
Um, oh, and you know what else? Let me show you because I wasn't able to do this last week. So these are our make and takes, um, our projects that we made at our downline meeting. It was last week. My weeks are getting all confused, confused, right? Um, but last week we had our downline meeting and these are the make and takes that we made. So I thought I'd show you guys these real quick. They feature, and it's actually one of the, um, I'll show you. <clears throat> This was one of this, oops, I want to lose your ribbon. So Miss Nikki won. This is the Seriously the Best Stamp Set. There was some ribbon, but I'm going to move that out of the way. So the Seriously the Best Stamp Set with the congratulations, thanks, hello, friend. And then smaller sentiments. This one says, you did it. This one says, Seriously the Best, and I miss you a lot. So awesome stamp set. Um, these are the make and takes that we made featuring. So that Seriously the Best stamp set. This one right here is a stamp set that you can buy. There's also an awesome Seriously the Best card kit that coordinates with this. So get the card kit, get the stamp set, then you can make a bunch of awesome cards. And then you have obviously this awesome stamp set left that maybe you can make these cards with as well. So I thought I'd just flash these up and show you guys these real quick. Because they were lots and lots of fun. We've got another in, in that awesome designer series paper, right? Love, love, love the designer series paper. So fun cards that you could make or Miss Nikki since she won the stamp set at Bingo that she could make. And while I'm thinking about it, because I mentioned this last night too, and I think I'm like way ahead of the game on this one. So I'm going to help you guys out with this. All of our in color ribbon that that came out about two years ago, we're coming up on two years, um, <clears throat> is going to be retiring. Now the retiring lists aren't going to come out until April, but when they do, this stuff always sells out super quickly. So, and I was trying to, I was struggling, but you know, I'm like so much more alive. <laughs> it's funny because we did bingo last night, and I was like. Oh, I, I kind of just want to sit down and like put my head, put my head down, take a nap. I have not nearly as much energy at night as I do in the morning. So I have to start thinking about doing online bingo during the day. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, but okay, so my point was we also mentioned in online bingo last night the ribbon, well, all of our um, in colors that are retiring, get them while you can before like the fur, uh, fervor, whatever, whatever that word is, whatever that word is that I should be using. Anyway, all the craziness of getting the um, retiring products like the in colors. So we have on this blueberry bushel and lovely lipstick ribbon. So those two colors, call me clover, pineapple punch and grapefruit grove. See how much faster I did that today. So those five in colors are going to be retiring. If you don't have ink pads, get those. If you don't have ink refills, make sure you get those. Um, if you need cardstock, right? We always need more of that cardstock. Um, this is the ribbon, right? It's the quarter inch. It's like a grow grain ribbon. Um, what else? I'm sure there, there are more embellishments. Anyway, you guys get the idea, but get the in color stuff while you can before they're even announcing retiring list stuff so that you make sure you get it, right? And yes, Nikki, I would love for you to case these cards now that you have, um, the stamp set, right? So yes, please case away. That's why I share all these things with you. Okay, I'm trying to move things out of the way a little bit. So, okay, um, where's Nikki's name? I gotta put that back on here. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess anything up. Um, all right, so I think we are ready now. So I thought this was so like brilliant on my part that we are actually giving away the Peaceful Moments stamp set for free with an online order last week. So this is our product of the week this week, the awesome, awesome, awesome Peaceful Moments stamp set. We're gonna give this away. Anybody that put an online order in of at least $30 gets their name in the drawing, and I'm gonna put those names in the drawing right now. And they also get the projects that I demonstrated last week. So those are going to be fully completed cards for anybody that ordered last week or actually within the last two weeks. Now, starting today, though, again, you're going to get make and take packets. So you need the stamp set and the ink because I cannot do that for you. We're not breaking any rules around here. Um, yeah, so that's going to be starting um, with order starting today and going forward. And we'll, I would love to get your feedback. Like I said, let me know how, what you think of that too. Cause I think it's kind of fun. I kind of feel, have felt like maybe I was taking the fun away by like putting the full cards together for you. So now you can have the fun of putting the cards together cause it is fun. Plus they're just cute kits, right? So they're so easy. I'll do all your die cutting and everything that you need. So good morning, Monica. I'm glad you could join us again. Monica was on um, online bingo last night too. So thank you guys. I had so much fun. I love playing online bingo 
can go. And we're gonna hope for no strong wind so we have no more glitchiness the next time we do that. So, okay, yeah, so back to, we're gonna give away the Peaceful Moments stamp set. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I'm gonna just tell you all of the awesome sentiments that are on here, because I see so many cool cards made with these um, stamps. So we've got, life is better with a friend like you. Always remember, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Happy birthday, congratulations, thinking of you with all my heart, with deepest sympathy, thank you. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy, and I keep saying that's going on a scrapbook page. It absolutely is a perfect sentiment for a scrapbook page. And then wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Okay, so we're gonna draw now for this set. Again, if you put an online order in last week, of at least $30, your name is here in here. You're automatically gonna get those projects that I demonstrated last week and one person is gonna get the Peaceful Moment stamp set. Also, don't forget, if you bump your order up to at least $50, which why wouldn't you do that right now because of celebration, right? You get a free celebration item and you get either my free embellishment for the month or the PDF tutorial with 16 projects. So I email you or you let me know which one of those you want, okay? So here we go, we are gonna draw now. Four. Let's see who is our lucky, lucky winner. I have one name in my hand, Miss Amy Adams. Awesome! Congratulations, Amy. You are now the proud owner of the Peaceful Moment stamp set. And it's getting sunny out here, which is great, except glary, right? So, ah. all right, it'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. And so I have a whole nother tub with names in the drawing. Okay. Had to make sure I grab the right one. And I'll tell you about that in just a sec. I'm gonna put those in there. So lots of drawings happening today. In the meantime, before we do that, oh, Sally wants the PDF. Okay, I think I emailed it to you, Sally. Check your email. And if not, um, if you don't have it, because I think I sent it. I think you posted a comment um, earlier this week, maybe. So check your email. If you don't have it, um, I can email it to you again. So, and Kathy, that's very sweet. Congratulations, she's saying. <laughs> and Sally, too. Okay, so this week, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you are automatically going to get the awesome, this is that little small blossom punch, another celebration item. So normally you have to spend $100 to get this punch, but... Through me, this week, you only have to spend $30 and your name goes in the drawing to win the Small Blossom Punch. So it is part of celebration. Um, yeah, I'm calling it the right thing, right? The Small Bloom Punch, you can see it in action right there. And in these projects right there, coordinates with the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. So what you could do, if you haven't already gotten the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set, Put your $50 order in, get the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. Your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that punch. Plus you'll also get the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial with your $50 order from me. And then you get the make and takes too. So, woo, awesome, lots and lots of good stuff. Um, okay, mm, and I'm seeing Sally up. Okay, yes, check on that and let me know, Miss Sally. Oh, okay, so speaking of also, again, online bingo, I made this really cute treat box. I'm very proud of myself, but um, it's not a totally original because I showed you guys a few weeks ago for Valentine's Day. So this one, and I love the Hello Fabulous, right? And it's that little crisscross box, right? I love that little crisscross. So we use some of the mint macaron. This is the textile ribbon. You can almost see better back on here that pleased as punch designer series paper which i am amazed as of yesterday anyway it was still not i still think this is the thing that's going to sell out as those coordination products this is the one that i'm like just shocked that it hasn't sold out yet but that's great so get it while you still can the pleased as punch paper we used um actually we punched it there with that small bloom punch that i'm going to give away next week and then the heart there too is also from the Please Dis Punch Designer Series paper. And then there's a cute little um, rhinestone, one of the noble peacock rhinestones in there. But if you're wondering how to make this box, if you go to my YouTube channel and you find this Valentine's Day treat box again with little crisscrossies there, right? Um, look for this box and you'll learn how to make both of them. Basically, um, you just change out the Designer Series paper and the sentiment. Um, the ribbon and you can make them for whatever project or occasion super cute little um, like party favors right for maybe um, a little you could make them for a baby shower and use like cute little um, like baby paper maybe right maybe some fun like pastel designer series paper so 
<laughs> Thank you, Anna. I'm glad you like that. So yeah, all the details on how to make these, just go to my YouTube channel, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel, and you can learn exactly how to make these. I tried to kind of show it last night too, and I was like, oh, the video is so much better than what I'm showing you guys right now. And Sharon, Sharon's the one that started it all too, because that's so funny. She's got her little heart um, emoji there. Um, <clears throat> And I was saying, this is the box that we made. Um, I made everybody when we played bingo at the studio back in January. And Sharon loved this box and wanted to, I think she used it in a class um, or she made them for a bunch of people. Anyway, so she was the one that really prompted me to get the box made and get it uploaded and put on YouTube. So thank you, Sharon, for the, the push to make that happen. <laughs> so yeah, but fun little boxes. So enjoy those, they're really easy. And the great thing is, you can get two boxes out of one sheet of cardstock. Like that's how, like, and it's just really, and it's really simple. Once you figure out how to make them, you make them a bunch of them with no problem at all. So yeah, enjoy that fun stuff. I love the little treats too. Love, love, love those. Um, okay, you know, I got to check my notes. Okay. Real quickly, I just want to uh, do a reminder about the one-day retreat. I've had people signing up. I'm so excited for this one-day retreat. So it's right here in Alma, coming up on Saturday, April 18th. You get a free gift from me if you sign up by March 20th. So that'll be here before you know it. So get your um, sign up, get RSVP, get your prepayment in. I'll get you a fun free gift in addition to all the other awesome stuff that you get in your goodie bag. Final RSVPs are due by April 3rd. And I have to tell you guys, so we do it um, just down the road here at St. Mary School here in Alma. It's a huge open like gymnasium kind of thing. Super high ceilings, lots and lots of natural light because I've had people say you know sometimes you're like so kind of claustro not claustrophobic but you know you get really kind of packed in um, those convention or you know conference rooms and that sort of thing this is huge and open you have tons and tons of space I always say like I have so much more room than I actually have people so you can just completely spread out and just use all the room that you need so and what Sharon's saying <laughs> yes she used that little treat box in a um, class and she's gonna make more and I'm, I'm gonna make some more too <laughs> Sharon there that's funny Sally saying Sharon, push her to make more ideas. I'm working on it, Sally. I'm working on it. And hey, Trisha, how are you doing? I'm glad you can be here with us. So, okay, let's see. Off track again as usual. Oh, I know. So the other thing, one day retreat, like I said, on April 18th. Sign up, please. I would love, I want to fill this gymnasium. The, it's just so much fun, like the energy, you know, when you have so many people there, um, how many different ideas, different projects people are working on. So love to have like an awesome, huge group of ladies at our one day crafting retreat. And then also, if you can't make it, like if that's just not, the weekend doesn't work for you or you're just too far away, I'm gonna do a retreat in a box as well. So the goodie bag that everybody gets at the one day retreat and the make and takes and the cute little treats, I'm gonna package that all up and send it out to you guys. I am working on that right now so watch for details that'll be coming soon but I just wanted to put a little bug in your ear about that too because those they won't ship until um, like right after the retreat so mid-April those will ship out so we've got some time um, but yeah I'm kind of I'm getting excited about that I'm thinking about what we're going to do in the goodie bag and the cute little treats we're going to make everybody so we're having fun getting ready for that too um, okay and then another quick reminder every year I do this awesome <laughs> oh that's thank you Sharon she says that she already has great ideas check her blog that's true thank you you can you can there are gosh I've been blogging for I don't probably like close to 10 years I think so yeah there are a lot of ideas and even if you know they're old like paper or something um you can like adapt them you know for um whatever we have now right or maybe you have that old stuff too if you've been doing it as long as I have right so, okay, another quick reminder though, we have um, the Celebration Celebration. So that's an awesome event that I do basically to say thank you to all of my customers and I'm including my downline in it as well. Um, but thank you for an awesome celebration, okay? So we're gonna do that event in the spring. It's typically um, end of April, beginning of May, still working. I gotta wait for Kate's basketball schedule. So I'm not making any plans quite yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I know. Um, but anyway, not um, a reason to not want to qualify right because even if you can't come I'll send you everything that you would get at the event that day especially if you're long distance you know you probably wouldn't be able to make the trip and I will send you everything that you need um, 
Oh, funny. <laughs> oh, Sally, you're saying you want to sign up for the make and takes to go, please. So you might mean um, the class to go kit, I'm thinking. I'll get with you to clarify what you're asking for there. And then Sharon's saying to go check out YouTube videos too. <laughs> Sharon, you're like my little, my little PR marketing girl on Facebook Live today. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, okay, these are the ways that you could earn your spot at Celebration Celebration, right? So first of all, is if you, if you host a private party or class, and we still have time to do that, we've got the whole month of March. If you have sales of at least $300 at your private party or class, you earn your spot at Celebration Celebration, plus you get that awesome little ladybug stamp set, right? Um, the second way is if you buy the starter kit through me, you automatically earn a spot at Celebration Celebration. And then the third way is if you spend at least $200 with me during Celebration. So January, February, March, $200 um, in orders, and you earn your spot at Celebration Celebration. So it's an awesome event. We hopefully, and that's why I kind of do it later, like in May, because by then I should be able to have some of the new like annual catalog product, which is super duper fun to play with some new stuff, right? So it's just a fun event. We've got snacks and treats, and I pull out my buy one, get one free stuff, and we just hang out and have a great afternoon together. So, um, okay, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. My notes are really small because I had so many notes, so I'm like, what did I, what did I write here? Yes, okay, oh, I know what we're gonna do now. So, like I said, we have more drawings. So this week, or well actually for the past couple of weeks, right, I asked you guys to share projects that you have made on our Facebook group. And I was amazed at all of the awesome projects that you guys are making. So I would love to encourage you to keep posting your projects. We love to see what you guys are up to and it really helps inspire other people as well. So thank you, first of all, for posting your projects. And then as kind of a little carrot that I dangled, I have a bunch of names, all of the cards cards that were shared, cards, um, 3D, you know, treat idea projects. Anyone that shared a project um, over the last two weeks has their name in this bag again. Different names in this one than sharing because I made sure I dumped those out. And so these are the ones if you um, posted a project, your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Layered with Kindness stamp set. And this is the awesome stamp set that coordinates with the punches. So, and I can't remember, the label punches. There's like a pretty label, fancy label, I don't know. Anyway, there's one that looks like that, and there's one that's more simple that goes around that one right there. But the sentiments are, thank you for your kindness, um, for my friend, and happy birthday. This one's gonna go in that punch as well too. I can tell, you can probably do some fun layering where you do the background in that one and then the other one over top too. So very cool stamp set, sorry about the glare. And then we've got some other pretty imagery in there as well. So this is what you will win if I draw your name. Um, as part of sharing projects that you've been working on. So like I said, keep up the sharing. I won't be giving away, um, you know, stamp sets every time, but you never know, there might be a random like, hey, I put your name in the drawing from the last week if you um, shared something and I'll give something away. So something to keep in mind. Yeah, but it's just so fun. Rather than me posting all the time, right? Now you guys get sick of hearing from me. So post, people love to hear from each other too. Um, we kind of get you guys to get to know each other a little bit too, which is fun also, because I love to see that kind of commenting and interaction. So lots and lots of names. I'm sorry, can you hear it? I'm like shuffling it all around. Okay, and I know I've got like five of them all stacked up in here. So I'm gonna get just one in my hand and Miss Lori. So Lori Cresswell, congratulations. You with kindness stamp set and thank you for your sharing i think she showed um some valentine cards she was making valentine um cards with her grandkids which is fun kind of right because <laughs> they're really young i just always remember when my kids were little it was more like in theory that this was going to be fun than like in reality sometimes <laughs> when they get older it's a little bit easier you know but my kids were crazy my can you, do you know why they might have been crazy? <laughs> Probably because like <laughs> it was their mom's crazy energy that made them crazy. So <laughs> anyway, sorry. I have realized that now that that might have been the case. So, okay. All right, moving on here. I think, are we ready to flip the camera down? I think we are. I have a few more things to show you, but I want to flip the camera down so that you guys can see them um, down here. So let's do that, okay? 
So turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna fly through make and takes. And like I said, share a couple of other things. Oops, I'm afraid. I don't wanna call the police. You know, I really don't like to do that. Hey, Tammy King, how are you? Okay, yes, the glare, oh boy. I think it's gonna pass. So we're gonna deal with that for a second because um, it's fairly cloudy here. So I think it's just a quick burst of sun through the clouds right now. So bear with me a sec. This isn't quite as critical to see the details. I just wanted to um, tell you guys about a couple of things. So obviously you guys all know, right? Who could not know about celebration going on right now? Spending $50 gets you a free item. There are a couple of $100 items. But what you guys need to know is a couple of things have sold out. So in here, you cannot get any longer this metallic baker's twine and sequin combo pack sold out. So hopefully you got that already. There are lots of other good things. So don't stress if you didn't get that. And then the other one is the kerchief card kit sold out. So you can't get this one any longer. Everything else that's in here, you can still get um, as far as I know. So I, have, I always like, as I say that, I'm like, but I didn't check the website this morning. So I think you can still get it all. So sorry. Sometimes I feel so wishy-washy. But do you guys know there's another set of products that are going to be available starting on March 3rd, which is next Tuesday, right? So we have, I wanted to show you guys in case, you maybe have seen um, on Pinterest and YouTube, people are having lots of fun playing with this flowering foils specialty designer series paper. So you can even kind of see the foil like in the picture, can't you? So this is free with a $50 order. You can see actually this pineapple card, you kind of get an idea of it right there. And then it looks like they colored it right here too. And even here, maybe with, yeah, they're showing like how you can color. It's like an embossed resist kind of thing where it's going to pick up color um, except where it's embossed. And then it keeps that beautiful embossing there too. So awesome pack of designer series paper. Again, you free with your $50 order starting next Tuesday. Okay. Um, what else? Ooh, love this stamp set. So similar to, I think it was called Cup of Cheer. It's a reversible image stamp set. So it is um, a 15 piece photopolymer. It has to be photopolymer because these are reversible. So you can stamp with one stamp on that side and that side, same there, same there, same there, and same there. Some of them are not reversible. Like obviously there's nothing to reverse that there, but an awesome stamp set. And then it coordinates with the the cup of cheers dies that were in our holiday catalog. So this guy is free, that red button, free with a $100 order, okay? Again, starting on March 3rd. And then we also have the well-dressed stamp set, perfect for those guys in your life, maybe for a Father's Day card or um, a happy birthday to a, a guy, right? We always need more masculine cards, always, always, always. This is free with a $50 order. Hello, Miss Diana. And then also the So Very Vellum specialty designer series paper is free with a $50 order. And it comes in pool party, purple posy, and soft sea foam. So can you see beautiful, soft, springy colors? There is a project made with the uh, purple posy, right? And then what else? We've got some more. This one looks like it's with the soft sea foam, I'd say. Or no, that's probably pool party and that's soft sea foam. Sea foam. Sorry. So free with a $50 order. Very, very cool stuff. And yes, one more. And this one coordinates with those punches that I was talking about um, earlier that Lori's new Layered with Kindness stamp set will coordinate with. So they are called the Label Me Fancy and Label Me Lovely punches. So this must be the fancy, right? Because it's a little more fancy. And then this is the lovely punch. But great stamp set. And you can see how these sentiments will kind of pop right in there. Ooh, a cute little tag too. You've got your two from that would go right on there. Wishing you the best. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. Oh, that's very cool. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Hey, Marianne, good morning, good morning. Um, I miss your face. That's a funny one. I could see having some fun with that card, right? Or that, putting that on a card. Sending hugs and just for you. And then some other imagery too. And you can see here are some examples of what you can do with that stamp set. And then those cool punches. Oh, I love how they layered all the flowers around there too. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yes, right there. Oh, sorry. 
I'm like, I'm too busy looking at it myself because I've peeked at this, but honestly, I haven't spent as much time with it as I should because um, they haven't done this before. For demonstrators, usually we can earn these things early, but they changed it. So we have to buy these right now. And I was like, I don't want to pay for them when I can get them free. So I'm waiting until March 3rd to get some of these, <laughs> to get them free instead of paying for them. So I'm in the same boat you guys are. Other people, other demonstrators that have ordered and paid for them and they're showing fun projects with them. I will have them to share with you guys very soon. But lots of good stuff. So if you thought you had everything that you needed for celebration, hold on, maybe not. We've got, what did I, like four or five new items that are free with a 50 or $100 starting next Tuesday, March 3rd. Okay. Um, one more quick thing I have to show you guys. All right, it says connection in there. We're so good. The awesome starter kit. Oops, shoot, I just bumped the table. Sorry, that got all rockety there. So can you guys see, I put a little, huh, it's like too tall, but you guys kind of get the idea. This could be a starter kit of product, right? So if you can see here, I have a couple of ink pads. I've got, ooh, the fancy punch, my favorite punch, right? I've got a snail. I've got some um, dimensionals. I've got some envelopes. I've got two stamp sets, the Parisian Beauty, Beauty stamp set and the Inspiring Iris stamp set, plus some blends if you need some blends. And then I put a couple packs of cardstock in here. So I've got pool party cardstock, very vanilla cardstock, and then the Parisian Designer Series paper. So you can get all of this, this huge bucket full of products in your starter kit. This is just an example. Obviously you can get whatever you want, but I wanted you to see like visually how much you get in the starter kit. This is like $125 in product. Then don't forget, you also get the mini paper trimmer. There's not even going to be enough, enough room for everything. The sampler pack of designer series paper. Another stamp set. I picked this Rooted in Nature stamp set because it's one of our most expensive stamp sets. And then you also get a free paper pumpkin kit. So look at, oh my gosh, I can't even like put it all in here. All of this for free for only $99 plus sales tax. Okay, plus then you get 20% off of all your orders after that. So an amazing deal. If you are on the fence, you need to get off the fence and get that starter kit ordered because then you can start taking advantage of your 20% off of all of your orders and still get celebration stuff too. So do it sooner than later so you can take advantage of all those great things that are still out there for you. Because on April 1st, there's no more celebration. You can't get free stuff anymore. So, okay. All right. Oh, and then also, too, um, back to the celebration products. If you join a club, you can pick any of the $50 items for free from me. I order that separately for you just for joining a club. That's part of my club member drive that I'm doing. So if you join the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, or the Class To Go Kit Club, that's my, um, my Class To Go Kits that I do online every month. If you join any of those clubs, you get to pick a free $50 celebration item. Okay? All right, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, because I got it checking my list, trying to make sure I'm staying on track. So we had scrapbook class earlier this week, and I have to show you guys my pages, our pages that we made this week. So this one features the Peaceful Poppies bundle. You can see, love that, and the, you are loved completely. I think that's from the Strong and Beautiful stamp set. I just love that stamp set, right? So this was one of the pages, and then this was the coordinating so can you see, here's the coordinating page. We made, so we made one of these last month and we just made this one this month. So very happy to know you, it's kind of fun, huh? And there's that glare, but we're gonna just keep working through it, right? Okay, so there's the other page. And then these are the other pages that we made. And these are actually part of, you know how I talk about that PDF tutorial, the 16 project PDF tutorial? This is one of the projects that's gonna be on the March tutorial. I, well, this is my very simplified version. Um, one of our other demonstrators on our demo design dream team made a scrapbook page similar to this. Hers had a lot more detail on it. It was gorgeous, but I knew that would drive my gals crazy that come to class. So I simplified it, um, but it features the um, Golden Honey Designer Series paper and then the Honey Bee bundle, which I know this bundle you cannot order right now. So just hang tight. The stamp set, I think it's the dies that are um, 
really on back order. So, but anyway, you can still get the Golden Honey Designer Series paper. So do that while you still can, right? So there, and then I love this. Another Sensational Year of You. That is from one of our celebration stamp sets. And then here is the other page that we made. So coordinating, you can see how those kind of go together. Oh my gosh, sun, seriously. Especially, it was funny because I took pictures, pictures of these to do a blog post and black and white is really hard and especially with this glare right now too, but it's really hard to make my pictures look good in black and white. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a blog post up or not, but you can see both of these here. I always share um, all of the projects that we make at classes. They're all in the photo albums right here on our Facebook group. So if you're here, obviously you are right now, when we're done, if you wanna check out pictures, so all my scrapbook pages, um, I, I upload them at the end of the month. So the ones that we've done all throughout the month, I'll do them um, this weekend, right? I'll get everything uploaded. Uh, but you can see um, tons and tons of scrapbook page layout ideas, um, card layout ideas, even like treat projects, all of that. But you have to go to photos and then click on albums and then pick the um, album that you, um, you know, whichever one you want to look at. And Marianne is chastising me. Don't complain about the sun. <laughs> I know. I just don't need sun on Fridays from 1130 to 1230. I'll take it every other minute, every other hour of the day of the week. Um, just not this one hour right here. <laughs> so sorry, Marianne. But I, I know, I, I feel bad complaining about the sun too. I know, you're right. Okay. Oh, I think we are ready to do our stamping. But you have a new, there, we had like a low connection for a sec. We have a new host code for this month. <laughs> She's like, Sharon says, that's right, Marianne. Stop complaining about the sun, Amy. Okay, the sun has um, clouded over for a moment. Okay, so don't forget, new this week, right? If you put in a $30 online order, you're gonna get the make and takes that we're gonna do right now. And your name goes in the drawing to win the small bloom punch, okay? This is our new host code, the 4P442Y2V. Okay, and then if you bump your order up to $50, you get a free celebration item and you can pick from a free embellishment or the 16 project PDF tutorial. Okay, all right, I'm gonna scoot that back up there so you guys hopefully can still see that host code. And we are gonna get to making our projects with our product of the week, the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And that's mine, right? Yep, okay. I have a couple of those floating around though. I was so excited about that. I wanted to give a few away. Okay. So our first project also features, and hopefully you guys can see, it is the Magnolia 3D embossing folder, which that's not going to help either. I'm going to show you though, I used a few pieces of paper to kind of shim it because, so I did this one in um, soft suede, and, and I think you can't, can you see when I use, I use the shim on the early espresso, not on the soft suede. And I feel like you can see the embossing. It's a little bit deeper. I don't know if you're able to see it on here or not. But so I, I have really barely used this um, embossing folder. And I just kept saying, I have to use this. I have to use this. So I thought it was a great um, card uh, to use it on for like, you know, for a um, sympathy card, right? Okay, so... Let's get to, and I realize I don't have the other platform as I'm looking at that embossing folder. Okay, I'll have to grab that. I'm gonna do that real quick right now. I'll be right back. My other embossing folder platform. Okay, here I come. I haven't forgotten anything in a little while, have I? Or was it last time we did it I did? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Rose is Rosemary is saying the Magnolia product suite is my favorite. <laughs> I know. And that's this is about the time of year when I start circling back to annual catalog stuff thinking, oh my gosh, there's still so much to play with in there because you get so focused on holiday catalog stuff and then the spring mini catalog. So yeah, now, like I said, kind of circling back to the annual catalog. Okay. So let me show you, let's give you dimensions first. So we start with the petal pink card base, okay? So we have our eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it 
at five and a half inches, okay? So there's that piece. Then we have a piece of early espresso cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And on the inside, we decorated it kind of fun there too. So the white piece is also four inches by five and a quarter inches on the inside there too, okay? Then I think we have this piece of the Magnolia designer series paper that measures three quarters by four and one quarter. And then we have just a couple of scrap pieces of Whisper White and Mossy Meadow. Hey Charlene, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's do our stamping. We are gonna grab, I've got Mossy Meadow ink and we have two to stamp actually, don't we? Okay, so on this little strip that we are gonna die cut, we have with deepest sympathy. So I'm gonna do that. I wondered, this ink pad, I have, I feel like, um, I guess I'm just not putting enough ink to it. These darker colors, it's like I need so much ink. Um, we'll see if that is gonna be enough. Um, especially this time of year, I feel like they dry out so quickly. We're gonna try it one more time. I don't wanna to press too hard because then you get ring around the rubber and that's no good either, but we're gonna do, let's flip it over here just in case, cause I'm not sure if I spaced these out enough, but we'll do one here just in case this is the darkest one. I think that is. Okay, so we're gonna use that one. And then on the inside, we are gonna do, Oh, where are the leaves too? I wonder if I forgot to put those let me make sure that's going the right way. There we go. Thinking of you with all my heart, and that is crooked, so we're doing it again. <laughs> See, two sides to the paper. Okay, so what did I, I got it kind of angled down a little bit. This one will probably be up too much, but let's see. That one's any better. I think that one's a little bit better. Thinking of you with all my heart. And did I forget the leaves? I was kind of trying to decide. Well, they should be. Oh, they're in the other. Yeah, I, I used so many of these stamp sets back and forth. So I need to grab because the leaves on the inside of this card, okay, I forgot two things, um, are from the other Painted Poppies stamp set. So, cause I don't, I was trying to decide if I did have it here. I must've put it back. We used it on this. Hold on one sec. Let's grab that too. So we also, because it's all part of the suite, right? I used the Painted Poppies stamp set. So I've got the little leaf right here. And I did remember to bring a block, okay? So we're gonna scoot that one up there. What am I looking for? My green, my mossy meadow. So we're just gonna stamp one leaf there. It's amazing how much darker it looks on. <laughs> now it's all juiced up now that I've been playing with it. Of course. Okay, so we got a couple of leaves there. All right, I think we're going to finish these things. So let's do our die cutting and embossing, and then we will put this card together. Okay, so let's do our, we'll do our die cutting first since I have that set up on the platform. Okay. Oh, you guys. You know what it is? Did I... Um, what did I do? Because I used all of these things on, my brain is fried now. I need to go grab the dies too. Yeah, so I had these these um, make and takes made earlier this week and I had everything all set and then I, oh I know, then we used them at scrapbook class. And then when I put everything away from scrapbook class, instead of putting them back with the make and takes, I put it away. So shoot, now I need to go get the dies. And then, we'll, then I think we'll have everything. Usually I make myself notes. I mean, I'm such a note maker and usually I have notes all over the place saying, don't forget to put that back there after you're done with scrapbook class. And apparently I didn't make myself any notes. So these are the, what are these called? Oh, they're on the back of this. 
These are the painted, sorry, painted labels dies, right? I love these. I know we used this one on a Lady Bark card a couple of weeks ago. And then this one we used, both of these we used on scrapbook pages too that I showed you earlier. So, okay, like I said, I think we have everything now. So I love the labels though too in this set. So we're gonna use that one right there with deepest sympathy. And I also love that they gave us two leaves instead of one. Now the trick will be to make sure that my paper, or I guess it's maybe the platform, that the platform cooperates. Right, so they're not winging all over the place. Okay. All right, cranking the handle. It's, I don't know if it's blanking out for you guys. Um, but low connection, this was doing it last night at Bingo, too. Um, but now it says the connection is good. So hopefully you guys are all right. Okay, so we're going to pop those. And I, I also think this is so cool how it does this. Can you guys see on here? It's got like a little ridge, so it kind of embossed it, too. Can you see that in there, that little ridge? I love that. That's a very cool as well. Okay, so now we need our other platform to do our embossing and this was the one that I was saying I used some paper shim so I just have a couple of pieces of copy paper Alice hello how are you I'm glad you can hang out with us today yes I'm happy to have you back okay so we are going to put this is our early espresso piece and how did I do that let's see oh I know I can look right here right so we have that one. I kind of angled it. I think I went something like, sorry, you guys can't even see. I'm not really in the view here. Okay, there. That's how I, I put that in like that. So kind of at an angle. And I've got my little paper shims because I just want it to be a little bit um, thicker. Your cardstock, I tend to not like to do that just because I don't want to get water anywhere <laughs> near paper usually how this one turned out. I think we've gotten everything we need here with our big shop. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, so here is our embossing folder. Thank you for the share too, Alice. Okay, so isn't this so cool? I, I just wanna use this embossing folder all the time. So now I gotta come up with some other fun ideas, um, but I just think it's so pretty. All right, so I think we are ready to start putting things together. I need a quick sip of water. All right, so we are going to add some adhesive on the back of our early espresso. You can see I put quite a bit of adhesive because it's embossed, and I really want it to stay well. I don't want it to curl up right anywhere. We will put, let's do the inside right now too. And I love also because our white cardstock, even the regular white cardstock, is thick enough that even though I've stamped on that, once you put it on the inside of the card, you cannot see through it. And then we also added a little bit of adhesive on the back of our leaves, and we're gonna put those on there. So kind of fun. Oops, maybe I'll move that one down a little bit further. I like to kind of decorate the inside of our card, right? So coming back to the outside now, this is what we're working on right here. So we are gonna add some adhesive to this piece we're going to pop this one kind of runs right across there and then i did kind of separately i did a strip of let's go this way this will be easier for me to kind of hold it and cut so we did a strip just across there and i'm going to add a little bit of adhesive along the top of this one thank you guys i'm glad you like this it's kind of taken us back right to kind of last summer when we were playing with all of these Magnolia products, right? Haven't played with them for a while, but I love, it's kind of like, you know, seeing old friends again, right? Um, pulling these things out and playing with them that we haven't played with in a little bit. Okay, so I just put some couple of dimensionals on there. We are gonna put that right about there. And then separately, we are gonna tie a bow with our petal pink metallic edge ribbon. I believe this ribbon is on back order right now. Many of the products, unfortunately, in the um, Spring Manny catalog are on back order, but you can still go ahead and order, and then as soon as it becomes available, Stampin' Up! will ship it to you. So you can still put it on your order, you know, to get free celebration stuff, 
and then like I said they'll just ship it when it comes in off of back order. So we are going to put a little mini glue dot there and then last step we always have to have a little bit of bling on our projects right let's move these out of the way so i have bought i can't even tell you how many packages of the metallic pearls i apparently love the gold ones a lot more than the silver ones because this is all i have left of the gold and i think i have like i don't know how many full packages of the silver so i'm gonna have to figure out something to do with those silver um pearls also hey miss melissa how are you Yay, I'm glad you can join us. So Melissa is my good friend that I do the weekend retreat with, and we've been texting back and forth um, to try to get ourselves all organized and prepared for the weekend retreat that's coming up in just a few weeks. Oh my goodness, yes, we'll be ready though. We're always ready. So I know, Philomena, I love this ribbon too. So okay, there is our first project. So like I said, new this week, I won't be doing any of the stamping. I will do the embossing, I'll give you the ribbon. You will get this piece and then you'll do your own stamping, okay? And then same for the inside of the card, you'll do your own stamping on there as well, okay? So you'll get a little packet and then you can put your cards together yourself. So like I said, I think I was robbing you of all of that fun, so no more. Okay, so that's one of our projects using our um, product of the week. And then the other one I love. So this paper, it truly is some of my favorite. I know that Anna, that color combo is awesome, right? Back on this one. I know it's all part of that Magnolia Suite with the deep brown and the pink and the mossy metal. It is beautiful. And then this one, I love this color combo too. So we've got Rich Razzleberry right here and Poppy Parade. And then maybe with, maybe even, I don't even know the orange is a pumpkin pie. I'm not really sure, but I thought this was kind of a fun one too. We use that fun um, dye there as well. And then love this. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Awesome, awesome sentiment, right? Okay, so for this one... Let's get everything out here. Actually, let's put those away here too. And, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Here's my love note to myself that told me you needed the painted labels dies, the, <laughs> oh good, I need some more ink. Oh my goodness. You guys, I tell you what. So I did, I put the stamps back, but yeah, that's the problem with using this stuff in like more than one, just too many things going on sometimes, right? Okay, so let's see. I gotta make sure. Yep, we have the dies. I need to go grab my ink though too. And I think I have, yep, right there it even said I needed the leaf and the splotch. Unbelievable, I cannot believe myself. Okay, so two ink pad colors. I'm gonna grab those real quick. <laughs> when you prepare too early in the week i'm usually wednesday thursday i prep and i did all of these on monday then we had scrapbook class on tuesday and then i got into a million other things i was doing so that's you know most people like to be prepared in advance apparently that doesn't work as well for me because then stuff is everywhere so okay i think we're good <laughs> thank you for your patience with me today ladies Woohoo, one week off and all heck breaks loose, huh? Okay, so here we go. Whisper White, this is thick Whisper White cardstock. And thank you, Diana, I know. I love both of the cards and the DSP for sure too. Okay, so thick Whisper White cardstock. Again, it's a tall card, so along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our tall folding card, right? So we'll go like that. Okay, scoot that over there. Then we have a piece of designer series paper, the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. This one measures uh, two and three quarter by four inches. And then we have just a couple of little strips. This is more um, Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. This one measures one by two. I know, favorite color combo. I hear you, Nikki. 
And then this one is a half an inch by four inches, okay? So we have all of those. All right, um, let's do our stamping. That one is just for die cutting. So on here, we have, okay, we've got this one. I'm trying to make sure I've got everything here. Do one more stamp that I didn't have. Okay, we're good now. We're really, really, really good. Okay, so we're going to use our black memento ink for our poppy, first of all. This is like a train wreck, isn't it, ladies? Okay. All right. And then in poppy parade ink, we've got our splotch. It kind of just covers all of that up. That's what I thought I, I said you need your splotch stamp, and I thought it was this one but I needed this one also. So on the inside, um, it does all work, doesn't it? Yes, it does, Sharon. So this is like a little splotch. So we're gonna kind of add, ooh, okay, that's thicker. That's all right though. That's kind of fun, huh? There, so we added that to the inside. So these, I used basically this stamp with that splotch and then a few more splotches right there too. So just so you know, from the Painted Poppies stamp set. But again, I'll put all of the names and item codes, um, everything that we're using on today's projects on my blog um, this afternoon too. Okay, so then we need our stamp. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. All right, I'm glad you're with me. It makes my videos fun, yes, I know. You're just cracking up, right, at how, like, ridiculous I am sometimes. But it is it is life these days. There we go. I think it was online bingo last night, too. A couple things. Um, I normally do, like, one event a week. And having one last night, too, I think um, usually that's when I'm kind of setting up and prepping and double-checking. And I thought I did do a double-check. And I did, but not on the make and take. So that's how that goes. Okay, I think we are done with our stamping. So here, let's get these things out of the way. We are going to grab our dies, and we're gonna do our die cutting. Okay, oh, I did. Yeah, so on the inside, I was trying to remember if I did any stamping. So I did a little bit of stamping on the inside. Let's do that right now so it's got a time, some time to sit. So again, with my black memento ink, we're gonna stamp that right there. <laughs> All in the same bow, I know. <laughs> Good, Kay, you're so sweet, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, and Philomena, yes, you love this stamp set. I know, me too. Okay, so I'm going to try to go real light here because that kind of like, yeah, that's what I was looking for. The other one, I was a little heavy-handed there. I just want like little splotches. So you can, ooh, hoo, hoo, that could have been really bad. That could have, who knows what would have happened there. I would have had that all over my card. So you can see with this one, obviously I did all of the splotchiness and then I stamped really kind of heavy-handed. But this one we went a little bit lighter on that. So either way, you can do it. All right, now we are ready for our die cutting. Okay. We'll go this way right here. Okay, so we've got this and this. I wonder if I can put this one on too. I cut that a little wide. <laughs> we'll see if it'll all work. Okay, so we've got this fun little circle-y piece that we are gonna put right there. All right, and then we have, these are our layering circle dies, and I did, okay, good. One thing I did for myself here. <laughs> okay, so this is, that is the smallest, one, two, three, so this is the fourth smallest straight edge circle, and here we're gonna put that right around there, and then from our poppy dies. And you can see how that's just gonna, all that extra red is just gonna go away when we make our die cut here. Why does that, oh, maybe I gotta go right there. Somehow it feels like it's not, but you know what, it's not meant to be perfect. It's supposed to be kind of a watercolor look. So if I don't put this on quite the right way, that's gonna be all right, because that's how it's supposed to look. Um, oh. Oh, Sharon's saying, with the slight broadcast interruptions, the audio isn't synced with the video. Oh, and you see the stamping before you hear me talking. Facebook. Or it's actually, did that one move a lot? I have to look at that. Nope, we're good. Um, I think it's the wind, right? Why can I not figure out what is wrong with this? Do I have it totally? 
something's throwing me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Just hang it up, Amy. Just hang it up. Maybe that's it right there. That looks good. Okay. It's supposed to be perfect. That kind of watercolor look. It's all right if when you die cut it, um, it doesn't frame it exactly. All right. So these are going to pop right out. And this other one's going to be probably a pain in the butt just because that's how today is going to go. We're going to scoot this out of the way. I did bring, so I did remember some things, ladies. I'm going to use my dye brush here. See if that will help us. So the thing is, you just have to be careful with those really delicate little pieces. But usually, if you can kind of pop something out, then you can kind of use this. So you just don't want to rip. Can you guys see those? Here I am. I'm so like intent on trying not to rip it. I don't know if I'm showing you guys very well. But once you kind of get a hold of it, the paper's fairly sturdy. Just don't yank it super hard. But you can pop that little baby right out of there. And look at those fun stitches in there, too. <laughs> You're funny. What are you saying, Sharon? It's okay because I'm not seeing you talk. Yeah, that's really annoying, isn't it? When the like the lips are moving at a different time or something, then um, the words are coming out. So, okay, let me get focused here. I know I can do this. I think we are ready to uh, put things together now. So we've got all of our die cutting done. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. So we're gonna add our adhesive on our designer series paper and we are gonna put, I like to see that on the bottom. You guys do that, you have to decide, do I want that on the top or that on the top or on the bottom or whatever, okay? So we're gonna do that. We are going to, probably didn't even need, that's probably too long, isn't it? We might rip that off a little bit. We need the back of that one and we need this one. So we're gonna add these on next. So I'm gonna put, oh, maybe, that's all right. Let's see, we're gonna put that one right about there. Oops, I didn't press down very hard because I'm still thinking I'm gonna rip some of it off. And then we're gonna put that one right about there, maybe, okay? I am, I'm gonna just kind of rip that off because we're gonna cover that up. You won't even know that. So you could have that be a little bit shorter if you would like. Next, we need the, what is this called? The braided burlap trim. And I am gonna just run some adhesive right along here. And then I'm just gonna kind of lay this down. I think it's easiest if you do that. It's a very thick burlap. So I think it would be really hard to tie a bow, but I've had fun just kind of, I like that real natural look. So just kind of adding a little accent right there. Next, we are gonna put some adhesive on the back of this piece and add it. So the only kind of bummer is um, sizing wise, this just about covers up the little stitching, but I needed it to be big enough to die cut that. So you just have to use this one again on another project and um, not cover up the stitching. Let's see, look at that. I have like just a couple of dimensionals left. Perfect amount left there. Okay, we are gonna add our sentiment. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. And then we're gonna just pop that right down there. So, oops, I am going to add one more. I wanna put my dimensional on that side and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive because that's gonna kind of tack right over there. But you know, I don't like to have too many bumps. Um, when I'm, oops, okay, seriously, just put that down. There we go. And then pearls, we need a few pearls. I just have to always sprinkle these around a little bit. This is just my favorite little way to just kind of add um, just a little something something to our project. So, oh, ladies, we did it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there with me today. This has been kind of quite a day, hasn't it? So hopefully, I love this. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. It was worth it. All the nuttiness, right? It was worth it, ladies. So here we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget, put your online order in. Use the host code. You're going to get the make and take projects with a $30 order. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the... 
Small Bloom Punch, I was blanking out on the name, and if you bump your order up to $50, you get a celebration item. You only got about a month left to get celebration items. Plus, you get a free embellishment or a 16 project PDF tutorial. <laughs> Thank you, I know, okay, nothing like, or Philomena's saying, nothing like the pearls, I know. So yeah, we used pearls, the regular pearls here, and we used some gold metallic pearls on that one so thank you guys so much for joining me i will be back here hopefully more um organized with my make and takes next friday on facebook live so everybody have a great weekend have a great week and root for the panthers tonight i'm hoping for a win the boys yeah that'll make them feel good if they can pull off a win against a tough tough team tonight so thanks guys have a great weekend we'll see you next friday at 11 30 bye